Hello everyone, thank you for coming to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 40th World, where we get down and talk with our family about what's going on in the celebrity news realm and the comings and goings and how they pretty much making themselves look. And people like me have to come out and talk about it when I have an opinion. And I don't like talking about it about myself, so I have to call y'all to come to the house when I drop videos so we can talk about this thing. But we're going to be talking about Kenya Moore looking fabulous, okay? She was out there uh, doing her thing, taping and stuff, comings and goings with the Real Housewives of Atlanta show for season 14. And uh, yeah, just some things she was saying. And things that I had heard from other bloggers talking about who they going to have on the cast. Y'all know I had told y'all about, um, what's her name, uh, Ron DMC, Ron, Reverend Ron's daughter, Angela Simmons was testing, piloting um, with the show, seeing how the people liked it, her, meaning us as being the people. And honey, now they said Monetta Shaw is out there. And I got this from Tisa Tales. Y'all want to go over there and look at her? She's an up and coming new blogger. Uh, her name is spelled T-I-S-A, Tails, okay? I think it's T-E-L-L-S. So, um, go on the YouTube search bar and look at her and she'll have some news for you can use if you like the celebrity news, okay? But yeah, that's Monetta Shaw. She's a child. You know, we always think Kenya's the fairest of them all and she thinks so too. But, uh, you know, I got to give props up to her because, hey, she, she came back. She got on the show and she just been twirling, sending tornadoes and storms and everything else. And we've been here for it. Okay. But, honey, they said that Neo, yeah, we, I'm kind of confused and surprised myself. Neo's ex-girlfriend that he could never have kids with but then he get with this other woman and he want to have kids with her but yeah candy candy of all people okay that's my night of shower in the middle and her gown or whatnot uh i don't know what kind of function they were at but it seemed like her husband don't look like he got his uh, uh, dress suit or tie together maybe just a happy fella you know so we got to give it for the cute and sexy heavy men okay but he ain't doing no justice to that suit but anyway, she's supposed to call herself and got married to a white man. Yes, the swirl. The black man didn't want her, so she went on and got a white man. Can you blame her? No, you cannot. Because it could have been an Asian, an Indian, an Eskimo. It didn't matter. Love is love. And she said, I'm going to go with the white man this time. I'm tired of my black man. All right? And it just happens that way. But uh, Neo didn't want her. He didn't want to uh, put a ring on it, as Beyonce said. So he called himself dating some new chick named Angela. But I think he ended up marrying. I think they are married right about now. I'm not sure because I don't really care about the story of him. But hopefully if Monetta Shaw, which is that young lady right there in her different mini uh, colors of her wigs and weaves and all that kind of stuff. It's her. She bought it. Ain't got no shame in it. And I'm like, Lord, lift us up where we belong. Ooh, Rita and them breasts, I tell you. But she's on my commentary now. She's no longer here on this earth, on this plane. Neither is Prince. But we finna get some people straight. Because we got Aretha and Prince here. And they ain't, they ain't gonna fool with no foolishness, okay? But Kenya gonna be rolling, rolling. But I thought I'd just come out and tell y'all. The story is about Kenya. But I just want to tell you these new players trying to come in. Now I'm like, if Monetta Shaw. Oh, yeah, and that's Michael Jackson. He kind of confused, too, because... I'm uh, thoroughly confused with this setup. They trying to run for the uh season fourteen for the rower. Uh, yeah, Will Smith. We can talk about him too, but I don't want to because all his stuff and his life is just plain bullshit. I think he just just trying to be in the news media because none of the stuff he talking about, like Aretha said, is just lies, lies, and more lies. Okay, kind of sound like candy, then. But Aretha said that, honey. She she wasn't playing with um Patty Labelle and Dion Warwood. She gonna stand them too. <laughs> So I'm like, woo. But yeah, that's Monita. Monetta Shaw. And that's Crystal, his wife. Oh, Lord, I said Angela. Her name is Crystal, okay? He was dating Monetta Shaw for uh, umpteen years. Never would put a ring on it. Never would make her Mrs. Neo. But he gonna go and make this later name right here. Crystal. Looking like she need to be at some kind of... Um, horse show you know what i'm saying when they wear those big old pretty hats and they go stomp the divots back on the it, it's something british but y'all know what i'm talking about uh when they're doing the horse races and you go out there and be cheering for your horse to win or whatever then they go and stomp the um the uh pulled up grass back into the um um landscape if y'all know what i'm talking about go look at pretty woman uh julia robinson i don't forgot the man name what name y'all 
I forgot what her name was that played um her, her, her soon to be hers, but it was her boyfriend at the time of her film. Or you know she was just serving herself uh in the prostitution ring, and he was just written her while he was in town in L.A. But it was a cute little movie. It had a happy ending, and that's all I got to say. But we're going to Yahoo News where we're going to be talking about Kenya Moore just trying to slay slay fashion, honey. And I was here for it, honey. She went almost a two thousand dollar mini shortcut dress. And I, I used to own one of them dresses when I was sexy and fine back in my heyday in my twenties, honey. I had a dress similar to that, but it caught it, it, it was nowhere near no uh two thousand dollars. I think I might have paid eighty nine dollars for it, maybe at JC Penney's or Learners. Anybody, you know, been back in the time, they know who I'm talking about, the little uh, shops uh called JC Penney's and uh Learners. Or maybe it was hidden miss. I can't remember. But it was sharp. It was just like that. Mine was like maybe a olive green color. Oh, but it didn't show no boobs. I had to be cut, but I ain't. Uh, my mama raised me right. We ain't finna show no cleavage, okay? Not like deep like that. But can you got it? She gone and flossed it. My titties were kind of perky too at the time, but I am. Mm -mm. I I I want to show less. I was very conservative, and I still am to that uh, conservative stage as well. But we got this um, article. Uh, and yeah, Prince is kind of shaking up seeing all those boobies too. But yeah, that's Monel Shaw once again. Uh, he didn't put a ring on it. He, he kept her a single lady and he didn't want to have no children with her. But he gonna come out with Crystal, wife her, and have children with her. So you can just show. Uh, he didn't care too much for Monetta. But if Monetta gets on this show as one of the peach holders, she better come with it. And you know, she's bringing, um her uh white husband with her and hopefully he's doing something in maybe not the industry but he hopefully he's affluent and he can take us places where she can but she's supposed to be with who's who as well uh i don't know if the elite circle but you know she hanging over there with candy and i'm, I'm sick of what, what, what's candy doing bringing all her, her uh, people my God, now you brought him that forever Latoya. She ain't doing nothing but make a mess, a mockery out the whole show. Now, good, you know, I'm glad, good riddance to her. She gone, okay? And she don't have a marriage to boot. And I, I kind of liked her husband. He was kind of cute. And the kids were too. But she just, you know, severed, severed that by coming on this show. I'm like, y'all need to start listening uh, to Ken, uh, Candy Bravo. I'm tired of y'all bringing her friends and foes and all these over here. Bring Phaedra back if you're going to do something, okay? But I'm sick of Candy bringing these folks on the show. They don't laugh. They don't have no storyline. And I don't know what the money is going to give us. She, you know, slides. She passes her taping. And people are, are liking her. You know, she's like to the community and the public at interest at large and watch these ratchet shows but i don't know she get on my nerve you know every time i hear candy and bring it something about i'm like girl why don't you have your biz give us something give us something other than your family to expose and put out there to look like fools and stuff and then you break up in the money but i hope you're giving them some money i really do i hope Portia giving her family some money too by making make, making them look like a fool like him but anyway, that goes nor nor here nor there. It's just if Monetta gonna come to the show, she better bring it. Okay, she better be telling us some stories about Neo, how he got down, why they got a divorce, you know, the real stuff. And if he had to come in and tape and you know, kind of give his defense, so be it. You know what I'm saying? Then you showing us some probably got you, you know you you back on a, the uh the breathing because right now we got your own resuscitation. You know, we we giving you um a lifeline through the breathing machine to keep y'all on here. Because Kenya and, and Marlo, they have potential to uh, liven things up. But they can't do it all by themselves. They need to conspire with somebody. They need to have a nemesis. They need to have somebody that they can get their asses into to make the show worth looking at. But, you know, like I said, the storyline, Kenya ain't going to make one up if she have to, okay? And I'm here for it. Go on and make the storyline up. Make me, get, you give me my hour of work, watch you cut up on TV. At least give me 45 minutes of good television ratchetness okay if you can't give me but 15 i can't be looking at it i can't do no uh reviews i can't do none of that okay i can't even get my album back that i sit and have to watch with the commercials and all of that going through so give me something that's all i'm saying a, 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 
just really just shut down Real Housewives of Atlanta. Cause evidently, you can't get it right. I don't know why you think you plugged into these people, Bravo. But, hey, if they ain't bringing what you need, get rid of cut them. There's too many other folks out here that would come over here and be ratchet, if that's what you're looking for. But, no, Candace, not to be all it all. So, I, I need y'all to cut ties with that. Keep Stop thinking that, okay? I mean, if you don't bring Fraser back, we, we, Candace, just like Cynthia, holding somebody's space that we need to have to be filled. They're going to give us some drama. going to give us something. And we ain't talking about going to your family to try to get it. Because they didn't sign up for it. You signed up for it. So we need to see you act a fool. Not necessarily your family members. But if they want to give it to us too, we'll be him. Kiki and ha-ha and with them. And like, damn, I can't believe Candace sent her to her, put her family out like that. But if she's going to do it, they're going to accept it. Okay, I'll watch it. But anyway, going back to Kenya Moore. She's slaying. Yeah, she's slaying in that bohemian dress while filming the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, we have Shardy Gillum uh, that put out the story on the Hello Beautiful okay, platform. But somehow Yahoo Live got it for some reason. Okay, but going into the article, it says uh, the upcoming season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta is well underway. And the ladies are out and about filming all of the drama they'll take. That will take over our TV screens next year. Well, we hope so. Because if we don't, we're going to be shutting it down. And the ratings will continue to plummet. Um, going back to the article, it says, And with film filming comes as an abundance of glam and fashion. As the housewives are known for. Pulling out their best looks for all of us to keep swooning over them. Among them is Kenya Moore. She's recently took to Instagram to show off her latest ensemble while filming the new season. And we're absolutely obsessed with this look on the reality star. What do y'all think? She's just showing them cleavages. And it's supposed to be a blue dress. I, it kind of looked gray to me. But either or, she's, she's serving in it. She's giving us everything. Glamour, successful, uh, business. Look, I mean, every, she's giving us everything in there. Love the hairstyle. And just going back to the article, it says, in a mirror selfie posted to her Instagram stories, the 50-year-old Don, a super sexy blue Balmain suit dress that currently retails for $1,195. Okay, they had to give us the title and the consumption of the money she spent. Now, did she just spend it or she just took a picture in it and returned it to Cinder and put it back on the racks for somebody else to buy? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. I'm, I don't know. I know because it ain't really one of uh, Kenya's dresses that she would don. You know, she's always in them ball type dresses or something that's looking every other day. And, you know, she give us those pantsuits that look real nice on her because she has that height. But going back to the article, it says the luxury item featured gold acid buttons on the pockets and waist. She paired the look with hoop earrings and wore her hair on a top knot with two curled bangs on each side of her face. Okay, so I did show y'all that look. Yes, yeah, she was looking pretty, Whitney. Uh, but we didn't expect anything lesser than Kenya. You know, she's going to show up and show out. Um, they gave us a close-up on her makeup. Uh, I think it's a little bit overdone with the eyebrows. But, and uh, um, eyelashes. I don't know. I don't know why they like these wild, large-looking eyelashes. But, I mean, it compliments her. It looks nice on her. Um, but going back to the article, it says, While the full length shot didn't make her instagram grid she did give us a glam and an instagram selfie where we got a close-up of a gorgeous soft glam face that features dramatic lashes and a nude lip okay and while king has certainly been giving us uh bts glam while filming a new season of R roa she also recently had a few bts secrets to show about the new cast mem members, their dynamics has changed because personalities have changed. The ladies change. The season changed from year to year. We have a new housewife, the Kenya Moore Hair Care CEO, told page six of the new housewife, Sanya Richard Ross. Yeah, I told y'all about her as well. Did a, in, um, did a video of the upcoming per se cast members. And like I said, she's a gold medal, gold medal Olympiast uh, recipient. And she's a uh, sports commentator. But like I said, if she can't give us no drama, all that don't mean a hill of beans to us. Because this is a ratchet show. We don't care really about the accolades or whatnot. We just want to see drama. And we want to see people get into it. We want to see the comings and goings of what they do in their business. How they interact with their employees and stuff of that nature. Some real shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't nothing really glamorous all the time. Um, 
like this uh, reality show try to tell us half the time we live in real life we face some real problems and sometimes it gets ugly and, and ratchet and we have to display that and that was as and pretty much that's what uh, Bravo is paying these women so if they're gonna come in here and make like everything roses and 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 uh every feel good stuff it ain't gonna last it ain't gonna last we're gonna get rid of sanya as well but that's just my pun intended going back to the article it says uh she also teased the more cast members could be added to the series if they continue continue filming the other ladies are definitely interested she continued they bringing something different this season i think that's the views the viewers really wanted this is to see something different from roa and i think they're going to get it i'm excited about the new potential of this cast okay uh, I told y'all, uh, which is none of my business, but when I do see good uh, vloggers or YouTubers out there bringing, you know, the drama and the potential mess starters that they're going to, uh, what do you call it, uh, encapsulate into the Roa uh, Housewives franchise, then I got to come to you. Now, like I said, this Moyella Shaw, if y'all know her, don't know her, Google her, okay? She was, um, I don't think I know her. She was Neo's girlfriend for a very long time, and he never wifed her. And she happened to be good friends with T.I., which you see that little clown over there with Tiny and um, Candy, and they're supposed to be friends. So she's supposed to know some uh, influential people in the music industry. So maybe that could be a good starting point if she gets the job. Because right now she's fighting against... Uh, Reverend Ron's daughter, Angela Simmons, which again, I don't know what she could bring us coming from the Teeny Bopper show, uh, Love and Hip Hop, or what the, what the hell name of the show, show? <laughs> well, she laughing, so she, she know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you talking about that one when she was on with Bow Wow. Yeah, what's the name of the show? Growing Up Hip Hop? Yeah. Yeah, Growing Up Hip Hop. See, you know what I'm saying? Bob about damn near 50, he's still 40, and he talking about still on the show, Growing Up Hip Hop. God, that, that's for, for the ones that's 18, 19, 20. Okay, and get, go up to 24. Then it's, it's, a, it's a route. They grown-ass people. We ain't talking about their parents no more, okay? We seeing what they doing, not where they derive from. But Bawa over here I'm still doing uh, uh, growing up hip-hop. He down to 40, 50 years old, okay? Well, I give him 40, 43, something like that. He, he ain't no hip hopper. He ain't no uh, little person no more. So I don't know why they keep coming up with these reality shows. I'm just confused. You're like Prince. I'm shocked. I'm shocked to even put Bow Wow and Hip Hop and Teensters together. Something ain't right with that. He got, what, a, a seven-year-old daughter running around him? And he don't love him. Hip got, no, he don't love him. He don't, I can't remember. I ain't going to go back. Okay. Whew. But going back to the article, it says, oh, uh, let me see. She's also told the online magazine that she's particularly thrilled to have Sheree Whitfield back, who last appeared on R Roa in season 13. I love Sheree. And can you just line her ass off? She don't love nobody but herself. I mean, come on, and baby Brooklyn. But she can put up with Sheree because, you know, they always used the Sheree Chateau and uh, it was uh, Kenya Moore's manor. And they both had trouble with their estates and they got them resolved but it just is what it is okay so they have that little banter between them that don't nobody really want to have them go down that road anymore because we suffering enough with that storyline so we want them to develop something new we don't want them to be friends over there okay we we're, it's not like the beverly hillbillies this, this is not like uh wayne's world this, this is not that kind of show so we don't need to be, everybody be buddy buddy up in now we don't need to be um, them be up in clicks we just need drama we need somebody that can bring it and i know one person can do it and that's kenya moore my law hampton ain't too far behind her those are my two Go to women that's going to hopefully bring Roa out of its depression state that it definitely has been in. Because right now, Real Housewives of Atlanta is pretty much in a coffin. We're trying to resuscitate it, we're trying to revive it. But what they're giving us, I don't know if they can pull it off. I really pretty much think they need to just get rid of every last one of them. And without the possibility of getting rid of Kenya, she still has some life in her. And Marlo Hampton, we want to give her at least three good run, three or four good young running years to see what she can transpire for the show. But the rest of just like Nene had to go, uh, Cynthia Bailey had to go, hell, Candy need to go. Drusa Dover never should have been on the show from the beginning, okay? Woo, she should have left right along with, um, 
Pharaoh Latoya, okay? Because they didn't let Kim Field stay on there. And they sure didn't let Shamar Moore or Sh what name is Shamar DeVoe or Shamari DeVoe. They didn't let her stay on there. They had her looking like a drunk, okay? So I'm like, yeah. Well, at least that was the storyline. And she loved eating up on women and getting drunk. She can't hold her liquor. Even Candy was trying to tell her. And I'm like, that's for be your friend. You trying to like throw salt like that. You don't want her on the show either. But the same thing we feel about you, Candy. We don't want you on the show no more. We, we really felt you don't use this platform to your fullest and we need you to move on get a seat to somebody else let somebody else grow just like you weren't growing back there you would probably trade water still getting your little money producing behind the scenes but we weren't hearing from you as you being a forefront person so you just won't let this bone go but we need you to go on into the pasture go on into this you know Oh, the sunlight or wherever. How do they say when you're going in the West and everything um, did well, they done got the good man and bad man and everything's lovely and you go riding on a horse in the sunset. That's what we need you to go, Ken. Drive on into the sunset with crazy ass taught on you know been mismanaging your money and stuff like that because you have no storyline unless you use your family if we were depending on you to have a storyline you'll just talk about surrogacy and, and bring more children in the world through other people and that that's you know we we tired of that tired buried and through okay we don't want to see that no more so what possibly can you bring us that you can bring can that's what we say that lady, yeah, that's what i'm saying what can you bring to the table that i'm seeing you you know every uh every week on the show that's why i need i need to know because everybody else is bringing some between kenya and marlo okay they bringing the phone but you ain't bringing no salt and salt ass flavor you ain't bringing nothing okay but dirt dirt Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it says she's also told, okay, yeah, she says she loves Sheree. Sheree and her have uh, good chemistry together. They uh, have a good friendship now. Uh, we have a thing going. I don't know what it is, but we get along really well, okay? And it's called both of y'all need a check, can you? I can tell you what it is. If you don't know what it is, both of y'all need a check. So if y'all need to... You know, get on each other's horse and, and ride each other for a while. You know, play banter here and there. And you want to be friends. Yeah, I mean, she need another Cynthia. And I think that's pretty much what she's going to use you as, Sheree, or Cynthia. Even though you're supposed to be the snitch coming back. And, you know, you were the bone collector. But I guess we graduated Candy up to that. But we're ready to take that title from her, too. Because we wants to see her do well. She says she's doing well with this play. Uh, people have been coming out to see her in New York and to play A Colored Man's Thoughts or something like that. Go see it. Go check it out. Come back and tell us what it was about because I don't give a shit. I don't care. Okay? Because she had that mother's love going on. And I was attempting to even think about going to that. And she had pulled out from under her. She went back, back belly up. All the people that she got. And Tar had got to come start the show. They weren't getting paid. You know, they told her, oh, we were going to get paid. Pam on the back end. Nah, hell nah. Pam on the front end. Bob Pam, you on the back end. I don't think so. Okay, so that shit went belly up. People were talking about her like a doll. She was around here crying and carrying on social media. Gonna say shit. And I would have been put Tar out right then and there. Quick, fast, and a hurry. You got to go. Ego, you got to go. You got to go. You're making me look bad. You mean, I can get another penis. Trust and believe that I can get another penis. I just can't deal with you no more. But we can see. Todd is there for the money. I don't care what nobody say. He ain't there for no relationship. Okay, he got an open sex marriage. He can do whatever he wants to. That long can get him the green light. And I tell you, she here because she out there uh, uh, carpet crunching, munching, or whatever they <coughs> they call it here or there. And I'm like, they, they got the best of my world. So she really don't need him. He know that. That's why he's still He's staying there everywhere he can get. And we talking about he got to go babysit some kids and get mad as hell. Okay? Because he don't want to do that either. He just want to travel with uh, Candy be a part of the entourage. I think they could be very good friends if they got divorced. I think mean, he'll still travel with them. You know what I'm saying? Because he wants the money. He want, cause he ain't doing shit. What is he doing? I'm still looking for his trailer or his, his uh, transfer truck. Some idea of the same talk. Okay, in the prizes, something, but I am still looking just like I'm looking for a charade jogger. So I don't know why I should just give it up and go on into the sunset myself. But, um, anyway, going back to the article, it says there's no words yet on when season 14 of the world was there, but it was certainly have fun. Uh, they were having fun catching up on all these behind the scenes glam moments for the cast. So you know it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We kind of stupid as hell trying to look and, and be a part of this real half wise with Atlanta. But we ain't got nothing to do. We ain't got nothing to do either. We go to work. We have mundane lives. Sometimes it get interesting. Sometimes we get to live vicariously through other people. Sometimes we actually just go out there and live like celebrities sometimes. But we know, you know, every day just, you know, people that, 
you know, work hard on their jobs. You know, just normal everyday people. You know, sometimes we just want to partake in their lives too and see what's going on. Because we know it can't be all that. Because we live in the same life when it comes to work. Work is work. I don't care whether you're working for yourself, whether you're working for, you know, a, a, another entity. Work is work. And people don't got time to be working all the time. They want to have fun. So we have all of that in common. It's just sometimes they, or majority of the time, they get to party a little bit harder and a little bit lucrative because we don't have that fun so they got but hell they ain't got shit either they they going around around here releasing money and shit they be, just, they be thinking they don't pay for that portion that big ass magic they be taking no making notes just like the rest of them we don't know until shit hit the fan and then it come out your favorite celebrity with just renting everything you see what i'm saying oh <sighs> but anyway that's all i had of this video hope y'all like the love we gotta have more if y'all want to don't uh hesitate but hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and you'll know when i drop videos okay but if you don't want to do all that just come back to the fam come back to the channel get a kiki laugh i'm i'm gonna, I'm gonna be over here saying some shit that y'all might like might not like but you might find one video that you like and you get a good laugh okay because i laugh at myself all the time on here i might not laugh with y'all when i'm taping but sometimes i laugh when i be getting off the uh the microphone okay you just have to watch my videos from beginning to end you may find something that tickles your fancy okay but other than that, I will see y'all next video. Y'all be busy. Bye-bye.